All right, grand finals. What's up? <laughs> Don't worry that was, about it. You know what? Like, I'm actually really happy with that set. Oh yeah? Um, yeah. No, nah, I just got to learn how to hold my controller better because that happens a lot because I press Z when I go to like ledge dash accidentally. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's why I get those aerials. Definitely could have done that, but like, Davin was also playing like a monster. Oh, are they just going in? Oh, they are. They're Ruben, going straight Ruben in. Ruben is not around tonight, unfortunately. So he's grand. This is huge. This has actually been a sick evac, honestly, because like, um, Nick's here, Davin's here. The only person really kind of missing is Ruben um, and Musket. Actually, Musket is here. Yeah, I know, but he didn't enter. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was too. He wanted to let you guys have a win. Yeah, I guess he's just really thoughtful like that. Yeah. Yeah, Ruben fans know. unite. If you're a Ruben fan you haven't followed yet, please follow. Yeah. He's here often. This is a one-time thing, we swear. Let's give these games some light. Let's not, leave, let's not leave him in the dark ages. Really illuminate. Ooh! So that tip was... <laughs> oh, no! That sucks. You hate to see that happen. Or you love to see it happen. <laughs> Press 1 if you love to see it happen. Ooh, ooh, that was such a good decision to go for that back air afterwards. Yeah. Big damage. This is actually big potential for this set. Um, so Nixon winners and Dallas is in losers. They did play in uh, winners finals, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So, um... One. This would actually be a really good... Like... Like, we could be in for a, you know, a big long set here, but like, I don't know. Could like, be. Nick's, Nick's really strong, you know? Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's really strong. He's a pretty strong gamer. Although the matchup, I mean, Davin's also pretty good, and the matchup can be... It's pretty strong for... Rush. I think it's yeah. pretty strong for Sheik, like, most of the time. Like, uh... Like, Moths, I feel, have a hard time edgeguarding Sheik. Yeah. And, like, Sheik has a really easy time edgeguarding Moth. Yeah, a bit of an easier time killing. Ooh! No jump, no jump. This is no. big for Davin. If he gets a good read here, and he doesn't. It goes all the way to the ledge to get back. That's pretty... not so. I mean, you don't want to... Yeah, no tech. You're just going to sit there. You're just going to get tippet. It hit me with, like, the Street Fighter 2 death sound. You know when someone dies in Street Fighter 2 and they're like... <laughs> like, they really linger. Two wins. Real. Raiden. <laughs> you need a different... Zero. Hadouken! <laughs> That's my favorite, actually. <laughs> Hadouken! I'm Chun Li, I'm Sub Zero! Hadouken! <laughs> A O. Perfect. <laughs> Nick's doing really well here, even with all the slide ups that Davin's doing. Oh, this could be it! Oh, sick ledge pad. Yeah, nice. He wanted a tipper there, but like, he's still gonna reset the situation just on the opposite side. Oh, and a dunk ski! Nice. Good way to start the set off, actually. Yeah. I like that. leads to the weak hit, leads into the dead. Mm. It's all flowing together nicely. Really cool evac today, honestly. I don't have a gun. I just like that. It's clip. such a good <laughs> clip. It's actually such a good clip. Sub Zero. Sub Zero wins. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> <laughs> uh, this is winners, so... Oh, damn, Nick's on Fox again, because we are on Dreamland. Yeah, we're bringing it back. Long-time viewers will remember from winners when uh, they play this very match at this very stage. A run back. Ooh. See, Nick... I don't know how many people realize that is that, like... Nick is one to press buttons. Definitely plays a lot of buttons. Ooh! When he plays Vox. You see how much like stage he pretended to give Davox there? And he like got a really good area. Oh that pressure! Yeah, yeah totally safe doing the whole thing pretty much. Oh, great SDI. Beautiful. Davin's not making this easy yeah. for Nick, but like Nick's just seem seems like he's just that class above. 
think Davin's have to pull out a few Hadoukens if he wants to come back into this. Eric Andre is not a personality trait, Lemons. <laughs> I just love that clip. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Actually, there's only one person I know who's probably that much more into Eric Andre than anyone else. Eric Andre? No, uh, fucking Snark from Vic. Vic. He, I mean, he's definitely one who's gonna try and make Eric Andre a personality trait. I, I mean, I'll be honest. I don't really know much about him. I just like that clip. I love that clip too. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't watch the show. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. I haven't really seen much. I just saw that clip. Okay. It's like, wow, this is a godlike clip. <laughs> right oh. He doesn't get the second one. It's nice moves, but it's ready. Devin trying to be slippery and working his way around, but it's there every corner. Uh, Nick was so ready for Davos to uh, crash cancel there and like appropriately pick that down air. All right, here we go. Something started for Davox. Yeah, gonna make a big, big, make a big count. Oh wow, what a six stall. Nice CC too. Uh, he doesn't get the ledge dash. Still gonna work out. He wanted to aggro. As if that didn't hit the fox, bruh. Come on now. Impeach and TSC. I'm dead ass serious. I can, I can only say one thing to that, and I don't think you want to hear it. Yeah, look, that pr if, even if we tried to, it'd get acquitted, so... Hope you appreciate that fighting social commentary, guys. <laughs> I, the only thing I can say... I've seen so many clips of people just like impersonating Street Fighter 2 sounds that it's like... Watch DHC glitch. Huh? Watch DHC glitch. I don't know that. One. You don't know that? One? That's that. I don't know that one. That's really good. All right, you, you got to show me. Just pop okay. it in the SA chat. I, my phone is kind of ancient. I don't think I have the technology to do it. All right. Put it in the SA chat when you get home. Okay. Yeah. And we got a puppy in the building. No. You are not going this way. Get out of here, doggy. Come on, you're really pretty, but go away. Damn. That really teaches you something about life, doesn't it? You can be as pretty as you want, but it, it just doesn't get you through every door. You gotta put in the work. I've never seen that that dog here with a game controller in his hand. Alright, Davin on his last oh, stop of this match. Ah, he missed the short ball. And that's gonna cost him dearly. Cost him big time. I think I made Davin use too much juice. Uh, so really, uh, Nick has you to thank. Nah, Nick has the US trip to thank. He's currently powered up because he's playing Fox. So when he switches to Fox, he becomes USA Nick now. The American, all American Nick. The all American Nick. Yeah. Oh, that up to was so crispy. I'm so surprised he went that long without getting here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Devin, I feel like he doesn't normally go for stuff like that. His edge guards can be more, I don't know, less, less gambly and more... Like, they are up. really trying to mix each other up in the gambles on the, off the ledge. Like, Davox... Oh, that's it. That's actually it. Damn. Nick was, like, literally so ready to, for that, like, double jump. He was just like, flip, done. Oh, sick down smash. Practice. Oh, come on. I'm like, surely the Firefox is actually like hitting the needles. Like the hitbox is hitting the needles and that's why it's- That'd be crazy. It's bigger in NTSC. So like, I wouldn't be surprised. Like significantly bigger. <laughs> like the, t the launch? Like the launch Firefox? No jumps. Oh. oh, damn. Oh, damn, Nick. He's like, whatever. This is so hard for Sheik to come down from. Because Fox can just run the whole stage. Yeah. Like, like unless Davin hit the SCI, he was done so. And he really got it. Like, he's gonna go home and practice it. Oh. <laughs> he does it again. 
Nice. There's some really good like counterplay going on right now. Ready like, for those little situations as they happen. Oh, one more. Yeah, baby. I don't think I've ever seen David down smash this much. <laughs> like he does like almost oh, ten. It's because Nick doesn't have the wave dash out punish on it yet. Or like C stick up down air. Yeah, C stick up and down air out of shield is actually a godsend for Fox versus Sheik. Because you get it's buffered, so you get So if Davin wins this, we can pass on the message, Brad. So we need a lot of energy in turn. Oh no! Give getting your energy. Getting up smash on the top layer. Potential yeah. last dog. Oh bruh. Come on, Davin. You gotta slap him. Put him away. Davin, if you win this, Brad will play D3 with you. I think he's a dead man. Yeah, he does. He's got the AirPods. He can't hear you. He's got the AirPods in. No. There's a fox running at him. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Davin's oh, going to make yes. it. Oh, nice. Hell, yeah. Davin brings it to 2-1. There we go. No, I don't want. I don't want to. Still in it. I don't want to go in there now. Devin's on a roll. I don't want to break his mojo. Okay, going to Mars. Going to Stadium. Oh, hi. Right. Interesting. Why did he went to Stadium and not FT as, as is traditional? Um, I can tell you. I why mean, I think the up so. tilts on the platform are pretty good against Sheik. I feel. I think it's because Nick took him there last set and then lost. That's why. Is that true facts? That is true facts. Man. He took him there. Davin said, oh no, don't take me to FD. And then he beat him. Right. That's right. Yeah, see? All right. The, I feel like the platform is not too bad for Marth against Sheik here. Oh. Oh! Even if she does land on it, you can still cover it. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, the transformation is probably good for Sheik. Potentially. I don't know. You know, I feel like SA is on the verge of a level up. I think with the competition we have at the top end of us, whoa, clutch up B, he went right through that dunk. Um, yeah, I feel like SA's on the brink of a level up because we have such, like, Davox has, like, had this uh, time back in SA, um, and Nick coming back from the US, he's looking really fresh, and he's looking really practiced, and he's bringing all the knowledge and all the experience home with him for all us boys. He's got the treasure and Coming back two, home. Two, two, two. Yeah, what, what did he? It looked, it looked like he treated there. Like, what kind of hit was that? This is looking really rough for Davox. He needs to clean. The two, 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 yeah, Davox is like flubbing some really small things, but like you can tell he's just like letting the opportunity slip away because of it. Okay. Oh, that shield though. Looking like a pin. Like green. I believe that Ned did. Yes. Well, even on stocks, but that percent lead is huge. Ooh, two -tack. Two -tack. I like Davin's horizontal movement lots. I think he's swag. Gotta be, gotta be crisp with that. Sheik's got that unusual movement that most top tier characters don't have. Oh my god, what a pivot grab. Ca oh, Davin's going it. off. Put oh. away. Grab oh, he's going for the poke there. I think get he it. actually did want to grab him there. Two traps in the corner like that didn't seem like something he wanted to do. Yeah. See, now Nick is ready for that jab. See, that's a... I feel like that happens to a lot of players. It's like, you mess up the thing you want to do, and so you do your wrong thing, right? And so, then you do the thing that you do want to do, but, like, the other person's already ready for it because they already know what it looks like when you fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you, you do something wrong, but then you, and you immediately try to do it again, even though the moment's passed. Yeah, yeah. You're better off not doing that. Oh, that miss! Sheik's hurtbox is broken! I actually hate fighting Sheik as uh, Dalko. Just, like... If I was Fox, it would just be so much funner, you know? Yeah, it does seem... Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! Took a gamble and it paid off. Yeah, he knew he was going to crash down some there. Yeah, that was a down holder. He's got to hold down a lot if he wants to meet Brad and D3 tonight. It's an excellent trade for him. Honestly, if you got a big cheesy mode, I want to see it. I know you can redeem like chat points for it now. Oh no! 
Nick's just in his head. He's, he's like, jump? I don't think he's got a jump. He's like, which side am I going to land on? I'm going to grab you. I'm going to tip you. Watch out. Oh, there's the... Oh, that's it. He holds yeah, out. out. He's scared of the down air. 3-1. Nick wrapping up the tournament just in time for Liam to see before his phone dies. What? Not really? you, Liam. That Liam. Oh, right. His phone's on 2%. Damn. That well, that's Liam, I think it is. Uh, Speedrunner, TF2, okay. Smasher. I was, I was thinking of former, former Nick roommate. 2-2. Two, two. Sorry, 2-3 two, to him. I, was I, was like, I don't think it was 2-2. Two, two. Well, in t it was 2-2 two, two when I uh, just back out off the stage and killed myself. So, you know, like, it was 2-2. Two, two. Just... <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lemon, you should have a new Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to him, talk to him. Okay. Welcome to the uh, the couch, which you can clearly see is not a couch, but never mind that. Hello. How are you feeling? Hey, stream. How are you doing? Sorry, I didn't Thanks, Nick. I appreciate it. On, on I really appreciate it. Thank you yeah. for the kind words. No, you played very well. You leveled up a lot since coming back from America. You leveled up so much since coming back from America. It's no surprise that you would have won. You're really good, man. What is you just had a one month melee trip. Do you, do you want to talk to him? I think I think you do well. I think Lemons is interviewing me right now. Am I? I don't, I don't feel like I am. I feel like there's something magical going on here that we could capture for the stream. No, no. You know? Yeah. No. Now that the uh, wannabe interviewer is gone. Okay. Hello, right. stream. How are you doing? How are you doing? So how, do you, how do you feel about the... About this tournament, you had a bit of a bit of a rough loss there at the end. Yeah, it seemed it like you weren't quite yourself in a few places. You know? I I don't know, man. Nick's just too good, especially after coming back from America. There was nothing I could do to beat him. Nothing you could nothing. do. It was a rigged game from the start. It. Think about it. Nick is number three on the Oz PR. I'm five. He's number one on the SAPR, and I'm three. How am I meant to beat him? This is statistically a, not in your favor. This is in a, an impossible matchup as well. It's yeah. Just, so if you it. ever do beat him, you know that really. It really means that he's fallen a lot. Yeah. If um, I ever do beat him. But yeah, it was um, good showing by everyone for this tournament. It was a lot of close games, I think. Yeah, it's true. A lot of close games. Could have gone everywhere. <laughs> could have gone anyone's way. Could really? You know, I really could have. Henning, did you want? Did you want some uh, time on stream? Did you want some time on stream? Yeah. Nick. Nick. Yes. No. I, I feel do like. Do you want some time on stream? I feel like. I feel like. I feel like Nick wants something out of here, but he's not saying it in plain English. You know, Nick, I thought you were a brave person. You know, the Nick I knew would always just say what he was feeling in the moment. Long time viewers will remember that he said that. Nick's really fallen, hey? It's that, it's that American culture. He's become very conservative. Yeah, very it's not reserved. like him. It's not like him. Maybe that match changed something about him. I agree. You left I agree. an impression it's on really him. really changed a lot these days. He had, really him, a lot. had him mixed up. But yeah, it was a, f it was a fun tournament. Too yeah. bad that Muscat didn't enter, because I really wanted to play Muscat this tournament. Oh yeah? Why yeah. is that? Just um, PR spot. SA PR spot. Uh, yeah. But how could you possibly win if he's number two and you're number three? Good point. But he's not, on the, he's not on the Australian PR, so there's like a 50-50 chance for me to win. Right, that. right. Why isn't he? Shouldn't he be number four or something? Yeah, he should probably makes should. sense, right? Probably should be, I think. Damn. For sure. But that's not the case. Whoever yeah. was on the panel, you did a horrible job. Yeah. Horrible, horrible job, panelists. I mean, you might not remember this, but there was a moment in a game, the last the last game of the set, where he was far away and you did dash attack and you got the weak hit. And I remember you telling me a while ago that normally you use boost grab to, in yeah. such situations. Can you tell me what happened there? I think I just turned I'm my brain curious. off the entire set, to be honest. Yeah. Me versus Kai, that was, that took all of my brain power plus some more. Damn. And then, since uh, Nick is um. No, I, re I don't really care about playing Nick. I just turned my brain off. That's it. Oh yeah, the down smashes. That was pretty fun. I just wanted to see how what would happen if I kept down smashing him, and it kind of worked. Didn't work in the math game, though. So how was your experience at a South Australian tourna tournament? South Dallas? Australian tournament? Oh, it's my first one, so I, I really like how it's run here. It's very I've seen you on the VODs interstate, and you usually, you honestly, you usually win. So it's weird to see you getting losing against me. Interstate? Have I ever won an interstate tournament? I don't think so, no. Well, I see you play against, like, for instance, Miles, Donby, Dobney. Um, 
Yeah, like many high-ranking Australian players, and they usually majors. honestly win. So. Those are majors, you know. I need to turn honestly my brain a little on. bit refreshing for me as a viewer to see you lose. I turn my uh, brain I'm, on. I'm sure that the people in the chat feel the same. I'm sure they do as well. Hey, chat. But how do you feel? You is, it, is it unusual territory t for you to, to lose, lose? Nick? Um, I wouldn't say so. No, you're just that much better. I do have the uh, numerical advantage in the rankings. Exactly. I've already, we've, I think we got, I think we've already been over Australian this. Australian PR. We've already we been over this. Nick. National PR. We You're got not going to get anything out of me from this. I don't want. It, I don't want anything. From, I've already. I've already got all of the happiness I can extract from you, Davox. Yeah, and some more. <laughs> really glad I don't have to play Diablo three with Davo now. Hey, Brad, you want to play Diablo three? It'll do, it'll be fun. Trust me. We can go after this. I I, I want to play some Dota. I'm trying to eat. You want to play some uh, melee, Nick? On stream for the viewers. Do you want to play some melee? No. That was a joke. Melee's a joke. Melee's sick, man. It's a game for grubby little nerds with too much time and not enough intelligence. Like you. Like Sad. I. Yeah, I know. I've come to realize that it's not a good game. Really? Why is that? Tell me why, Nick. Tell me exactly why. Uh, Give me at least two and a half like, reasons. It took me days to explain it. Two and a half it's reasons. It's like a complex understanding that I've I've come to have. Oh, really? Of it, that it sucks. Really? Yeah. Uh, must must suck to be you, so enlightened and everything. Must must be a really different viewpoint from up there, eh? Top three. I feel in like I have a lot of responsibility uh, with all the power and knowledge that I have to use it in a wise yeah. way to like spread the truth to the people. Exactly. Why don't you? Where's your social I'm trying, media I'm presence? I'm trying right now. I've never seen you post anything on Twitter or Facebook. I'm constantly posting. The oh, truth. Actually, yeah, I probably truth. don't follow you to be honest. That's why. But I might. And if I do follow you, you I haven't seen me. anything. You might learn something, Dev. At all. You might learn something about how to... About what? How to play melee? Just I learned to be a more complete person, you know? <laughs> you? All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But yeah, that, no, those were... The first set was pretty good, I thought. Oh, yeah. I, I really like right. both sets. I think they were both great exhibitions. The second uh, set was a um, little bit sloppy from you, I'd say. It was just not up to standard. If you played a bit better in that second set, I would have appreciated it a lot more. But what can what can we do? Well, I, w I just played at my level. You know, I played at the level that's presented to me. Mm, fair enough. And so when I have a substandard opponent, I think that's called sandbagging. Nick. It's not very polite to do so. Well, I just you should never I just ever ever make sure that everyone against feels involved in the tournament. You know, that's not how it works. The thing is, it's a game. At the end of the day, it's a game about fun, about enjoyment, about happiness, about laughter, tears, anger. Have you seen uh, it play melee? That is not. Um, that is not what the game surprise, is about. Like the game is a, the nerves, game is about dashing back your stress, opponent and sitting in a corner. Uh, like jubilation sometimes as and well rage when you get that, w and satisfaction when you finally achieve that goal that you've been working towards. We should get a thesaurus for you. <laughs> and also patience. Brad's right. A lot of patience. But also impatience. Yeah, you, know, you gotta know when to just let it rip. Yeah, like I, like I tibbed yeah. you a few times. I, uh, I just kept running up and down, smashing you because I couldn't be bothered thinking anymore. And sometimes it works because you weren't prepared for it. You know, impatience. Smart, impatience. That's Smart, called a, that's called a mix up. Um, mix up. Yes. Yeah, so you, you didn't care about the win that much? Of course I, I cared about the win. I that. wanted that win so badly. So you said to me before that you really wanted the win. Exactly. So, you took it away from me. I guess you just realized that you weren't gonna get it. Mm. <laughs> I guess so. I guess like so. subconsciously. I don't mean like consciously. Yeah, but I yeah, mean yeah, you know. Part of you realize you were never going to win. I just don't want to win against you. Yeah, That's it. I would ruin the rankings and that can't happen. As a, as a PR panelist, I appreciate that. You're not on the PR panel. Am I not? Oh, not for the, not for the Australian one. Are you? No. It's, it's only Sora, I'm pretty sure. Wow, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is completely fair. Sora plus some people, but just ninety percent Sora, I believe. Can I be on the panel for the SAPR? I've got some really good ideas. I don't think you show up to enough tournaments. In Me SA. at zero. I've shown up to more tournaments than you have this year. Yeah, well, but this ranking season, even. Bro, bro, doesn't seem relevant. Um, I think it does I, seem I'm relevant. like seeing like, uh, you know, the eye in Lord of the Rings. I'm like that guy. I like the big eye. Yep. I just Sauron. see. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter what it's called. Sauron. It's the point of it. It's the eye. Yep. Like why do you want to attach a name or a label to everything? I'm just because a big eye, Nick. There exactly. is a name. There is a name attached to it. No, I'm. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not Sauron. I'm like the. You're eye. like the eye. I'm like As the, in the you idea can see of the everything. Eye. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So you don't need me to turn up because I'm. I'm stream monstering. So and what, I also what have would, like a kind what of. What would be your SAPR right now, then, Mr. Panelist? 
Are this is the top ten. Well, definitely I'm up there. Somewhere. Um, Somewhere. After that, it gets a bit bit fuzzy, but yeah. um, based on results, I would have to see the results. Mm. And I've got it in a spreadsheet at home, but I didn't bring my laptop. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. You keep stats. You can do that. Yeah, I, I run simulations on all the people I know and how they would interact uh, with each other. I see. You know. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so anyway, you played really well this tournament. And Thank you were very you. clutch against... Um, What's Kai. his name? Yeah. Yeah, the Falco. Yeah, I thought you were going to lose some of the games that you won with uh, sheer willpower. you gotta, you got to call it what yep. it is. I earned those games. I earned them a lot. Yeah. Actually, I don't, I don't even know what happened in those games. I just kind of just did some cheesy options. Lost stock every game, and it worked yeah. most of the time. Yeah, well, and Kai, that's Kai started being real safe. Started shooting lasers and uh, yeah. not doing any like threatening options. Yeah, yeah that's that's a that's a pretty big Falco habit to be honest. Like yeah. once uh, once she's high percentage, they stop trying to fight you, yeah. and then mm, doesn't really work. You should have done laser jabs instead laser of just jabs? lasers to back airs. Probably would have knocked you down. That. And then, but like you can't shield you can't shield grab it if it's spaced. I'm pretty yep. sure. No, no, no. Because I usually roll away as soon as he. I started rolling away as soon as he lasered me in one of the games. He would have caught the startup. You roll the laser jab. I see. Is that true? What if he does a high laser? A lot of his lasers were high. The thing and is, once you jab, game. you can cover the roll anyway. It's not like he committed to jumping in the air. Okay. Okay. Laser jab's good. Sheik's roll is good as well. <laughs> <laughs> Agree to disagree. All right, all right. Uh, so anyway, how do you feel winning a How do you feel winning a tournament? You haven't won a tournament for a long time, have you? Not for a while. Honestly, yeah, you're right. It's, it's been, been like long time. three months, four months? At least. At least. How do you feel winning against a top ranked PR player? Why are we still talking? I'm really hungry. Uh, you can get some food if you want. I was going to tell you about the rest of my trip. Yeah, what happened? So after we had Denny's, mm -hmm. we went to like some restaurant near um, the house, and Ludwig uh, bought everyone lunch. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Ludwig, just a baller. Mm -hmm. Love that guy. Yep. Good guy. And we, cool I person. think I had like some kind of coffee situation. I forget. Coffee situation? Yeah. Ex elaborate. Coffee. How is the coffee in America? Isn't it just black it's, coffee? It's garbage. Most of the time? Coffee in America. The latte is very bad. The coffee, they don't have coffee machines, bad. right? They, just no, they, they do have lattes at Starbucks, but like, they're bad. They're bad. Just it, not it's good. It's bad. But aren't most of their coffees like just black coffee? Yeah, yeah. You just if you, do it in a pot, if you right? Got a, if you, I was lined up at Starbucks and they were like, one person was at the at the uh, FPOS machine, and one person was at the like barista latte yeah. maker station. And the person at the FPOS machine was like, "Oh, the coffee machine's busy, but is anyone just ordering a coffee?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm ordering a latte." She was like, "No, a coffee." A coffee. Because a coffee? coffee is just like brewed coffee, apparently. Yeah, it's just in a pot, yeah. right? And latte is like a special horrible. thing. Yeah. It's bad. It's bad. And the lattes were all burned and bad. Oh no, not burnt milk. It just yeah. It tasted horrible. like scorching. I think um, Australia's probably spoiled us for coffee. Yeah, because Australia's good coffee. The only good coffee I had the whole time was uh, at the house. They have a coffee machine because Nick is like uh, one of the guys who lives at the house. Um, you? No, a different Nick. This, yeah, uh, not me. Yeah. I was there. Don't get me wrong. I was at the house, and my name is Nick. Mm -hmm. But this guy lives at the house and his name is also Nick. Yep. You know Slime when he orders food also puts down Nick at Starbucks. He says I'm, my name's Nick. So you just have like three easy. people going to Starbucks. And when under he's the name with Nick. me or other Nick, we're just confused every time. Mm -hmm. Insane. His name's not Nick. Just to clarify. Okay. His anyway, name after the coffee situation, <laughs> what was the, what was the rest of the story? The rest of the story. Something about after going to Denny's. Oh, we just ate some food. Huh? I don't know. Fuck. Where'd you eat? We went to a local on the Thursday. Surely we went to like a good restaurant, right? What a what's a good restaurant there? Home of chicken and waffles. Home of chicken and waffles. Yep. Is that a chain? No. No. Okay. No, it's like a in the heart of where we were staying in Oakland. Yeah. Kind of sketchy area. Not gonna lie. A um, lot of a lot of homeless people. There was like a shanty town of like homeless people, like in the, like uh, under the underpass, overpass. Sorry. Yeah. Like between us and the venue, we had to walk past every day. It was a bit. It's a bit terrifying, isn't I it? I don't know whether it's like terrifying. Like, I didn't do anything. One of the guys kept asking who was winning the tournament. That was cool. Hmm. I don't know why he wanted to know. Curiosity. Anyway, it's like. Basically, the idea, the reason I'm telling you that is to give you an idea of the environment. Yeah. There was a chicken and waffles place, also 
in that uh, vicinity, mm -hmm. right next to where we were staying. Mm -hmm. And it's like very soul food kind of like so what is this big chicken portions. And dish? It fills you with an inner glow. All the all the dishes, there's like 50 different dishes, and they all have like a name of like a customer or a staff member or something. Mm -hmm. So they're like uh, one two Danny's. saints yeah. treat or whatever. Two, two Nicholas waffles. Yeah, I got, I kept getting the Lord BJ. That was hype. Lord BJ. Okay. Yeah, what, is, what does that consist four of? Four pieces of chicken, two waffles. It's, it's basically huh. like a big serving. How's the chicken done? Is it fried? Yeah. Fried chicken on waffle. Any fried sauce? Chicken. Syrup? Fried chicken on one side of the plate, waffles on the other side of the plate. There's like creamy butter on the waffles. Yeah. Uh, like a couple of slices of orange for you to like drizzle on the waffles. And then a couple of buckets, or a couple of tubs of maple syrup. And you put like most of the maple syrup on the waffle. And then the rest you can like dunk the chicken in. I see, I see. It is really good. That sounds we very, went there, very like, American. We went there twice. It's very good. Yeah, it sounds very American, that dish. And all the, like, all the people who have dishes named after them, there's like little portraits of them every, like in the restaurant, like around the walls Just put stuff. them on the menu, just right next to the dish item. And the waiter we had was so friendly. I think one thing about America, waiters are very friendly. Because they need to be. I know. To get their tips. The 20% tip. That's a bullshit tip, culture. 15% tip. Australians, I, I completely agree Australians with you. Australians suck at like social skills because we don't literally depend on it yeah Americans, Americans are, are all like amazing at just like kind of right. talking about the weather being friendly whatever yep <laughs> yep I agree press one uh, in the chat if you want to hear more about chicken and waffles <laughs> how do I press one Where's the chat? <laughs> let me let me get on my phone. One second. God, I I really wish there was a place like chicken and waffles in Australia, because I've not felt own, that surely. good after a meal. Like, surely you can make uh, your own chicken and waffles. Do you ever like eat a meal and you're f like I wasn't over full. I was just filled with this like warmth inside. This what? Warmth. Ah, okay. You know, like yeah, the, yeah. Like I know, I know what you feel. Warm, yeah. warm, warmth. How else could I... Hotter than cold. Yeah, like, you know. Colder than hot. Yeah. Comfortable, temperature-wise. Yeah, exactly. Like, satisfaction and inner yes, glow. Yes, Like a... Like a <laughs> I know exactly what, you, what you're talking about. Are yeah. you in chat? Is this your account? Yeah, that's my account. Oh, you said press one. I want to hear more about chicken and waffles. I want to hear more about the American food. Like, the, the soda sizes are massive, right? They're, They're big. There. That's one thing that's different about McDonald's. There's um, just soda sizes also, small. Also, one time... We like got home at like 3:30 a.m. on like the Sunday or something of Genesis, mm -hmm. and we were like, "All right, we're just fucked. Let's get McDonald." And we ordered McDonald at like 3:30 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then no Uber drivers wanted to pick up the order, and so we waited for like an hour. Can you get a it's like a shitty area, right? Yeah. Like Uber drivers just didn't want to pick it up. And we waited for an hour and it didn't come, and it kept getting like pushed back like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it would always say like estimated delivery time like 20 minutes from now. And so we waited and waited and waited, and it was like 5 a.m., and then Marky, like, called Uber, and uh, was like, yeah, look, they're not delivering our food, and they gave us a refund, and then they were like, but you can have the McDonald's free, and we were like, well, I guess if we're getting free McDonald's, we'll stay up even later, so we, like, stayed up to, like, 6 a.m. waiting yeah. for this McDonald's, and then eventually we were like, yeah, literally, it's just not coming. Wouldn't it be cold? Oh, you, d you actually just did not get one. We didn't get it. Could you, like, use the offer for next day, McDonald's? I mean, we already got reimbursed for the, you know. Fair enough. You should get more. I complain agree. To, complain to Uber. You get like three vouchers for that. Three vouchers of free delivery. I should tell Marky. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, McDonald's in general, uh, the bacon double quarter pounder mm. is a good meal. The Grand Mac, the Grand Big Mac, also good. What else did you have? So you had chicken and waffles, burgers, I'm guessing, in America. But you were there for like four weeks or three weeks, right? Oh yeah. Surely you had something more. I'm trying to think what was... We, went, we had you KBBQ went one time. KBBQ, okay, so yeah. <laughs> we went with Ludwig. Ludwig, uh, as I mentioned, a baller. Um, basically, he like bet with Atrioc whoever, whoever's team of like seven gamers lost mini golf yeah. would like pay for everyone's meal. Okay. And it was originally going to be like the team would split it between us. But then Ludwig was just like, fuck it, and made another bet which resulted in him paying for everyone's KBB gear. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he's just got it like that. Okay. So, we all ate free KBB gear. That's, nice. very good. That's like 35 a person, right? What? $30 a person? 35 a person? Probably probably more. It was it Probably was more. Jesus. Yeah. I don't know. And then you said you went to a steak place. How was the steak? Cooked it was, well? It was well marinated. Well marinated? What type of steak? 
They got different we, cuts we over go there. Then. They got different <laughs> cuts go over there. there. Come on, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta elaborate you, a little you bit wanna, more. You wanna hear about the, you hear about the steak? Yes, I do. It was like quite. It was like it was called like a triple tip, I think, okay, or yeah. tri tip. Yep, yep. And I got there was a ten ounce version, a seven ounce version. I got the ten. I don't ounce. know what. What's a Nick what, what is told me to get the seven ounce. What's I got the ten, ten ounces? Ounce. It was bigger than seven. I'll tell you that much. In kilo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was very thick but tender. Yes. Deliciously marinated, and it came with two sides. Uh, yeah. You could choose like any of the. You want to hear about this? Are you still listening? What was it marinated with? Do you, do you know what it was marinated with? I don't Nick? know. Because usually steak places are just salt and pepper and garlic, right? No, no, no. It was like a full marinade situation. Oh, I don't know. I, okay. I didn't make it. I just ate it. Oh, but can't you taste and it? And I had it with like a, a quinoa side and then also like it uh, loaded, ma loaded mashed potatoes, which is mashed potatoes with okay. bacon and cheese. Yes. And I paid extra like dollar for that and it probably wasn't worth it. Mashed potatoes with bacon. That sounds like it's worth a dollar. Surely. It's just one dollar. That's I'll like one dollar. It wasn't. Okay, fair enough. I mean, you had a 10 ounce steak, however big a 10 ounce is. Yeah, it was 10 whole ounces. Hey chat, what is t how how much is ten <laughs> ounces actually? Hey everyone, thanks for watching today. It's actually a pretty hype evac tournament we had going. Um, if you haven't already, please follow the stream. And um, the next tournament will be probably Cheese League on Sunday the sixteenth. I'll be streaming at home some other games as well, um, so you can catch my Twitter. Um, yeah, catch me on Twitter, at KB Kaiser, for when I go live and stuff. Um, yeah, if you haven't followed SA Smash TV everywhere as well, and uh, Catch Warriors SA, go follow them as well. Catch Warriors SA on Twitter, SA Smash TV on YouTube. Um, and if you want to get involved in the Adelaide scene, hit up South Australian Super Smash Brothers on Facebook. Um, yeah, I just finished uh, uploading all the Ultimate VODs for Big Cheese 2. We had, in total, 115 or 16 videos. And I don't think any other majors had anything close to that on the VOD front for just one game. So, uh, I'm, like, petty, but, like, I'm proud. So... My subtle challenge to every other tournament, more VODs, please. But, um, you yeah, know, it takes a lot of time in the end. Yeah, we, ha we ran, like, what, four? Yeah, we ran four streams at Big Cheese. Crazy. Big Cheese 2 stream content was pretty hype, actually. Um, yeah, so I think I'm done, everyone. I'm gonna, I might find someone to host, and I'm going to dip... Uh, if I know Nez well, he will probably be streaming right now. And there he is. There he is. <laughs> All right, I'm going to host Nez. He's doing controllers. That fucking hurt my ears. <laughs> Christ. I um, hope that didn't blow you up to stream, but um, I'm going to host Nez. I think he's playing some netplay. So say hi from us. Let him know that SA Nick won the tournament, and I'm going to dip. Peace, everyone. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you're looking to support me going to Phantom, check out my Twitter. It's in the pin tweet. I got fucked by MBN recently and moving houses, having to overlap rent. So I'm down a lot of money that I really put aside for the trip. And if you want to help me go play video games in Sydney, essentially, just hit that up because that would be really nice. Um, so, like... Real shit, I really want to go play some Voltex in Sydney. And also, I also really want to, like, do well at Phantom. Like, I feel like it's in me to get a top eight, maybe, if I'm playing really well. And I reckon if I play enough around the weekend and I hit up Nick, probably, we'll see what happens. All right, I'm done, guys. Thanks for the stream, and we're dipping. Peace.